And at the time, uh, there were people in my life who possibly for the right reasons or with good intentions were pointing out the flaws in my life uh, or what hmm. they saw as flaws in my life, uh, that, the, that I was just freelancing, that I was just side hustling, that I wasn't going corporate or doing like um, the usual nine to five job with benefits. And they put these things in my head about, wow, you know, do you have a retirement plan? <laughs> um, you know, right. uh, what are you going to do if you get sick? And, and it got into my head and it paralyzed me hmm. and, you know, whether it was done for good intentions or whether it was done because they could only see the way that they did things and, and not the way I did things, it really traumatized me. And it wasn't until I managed to calm down a bit, uh, kind of get away from, some of the influences, outside influences, really listen to myself and give myself permission to listen to myself, that I began to make the choices that led me to where I am. And, you know, there's that s saying, I think, uh, if you don't make the choice, the choice makes you. Mm -hmm. That if you don't go out there and take control of your life, you know, good or bad, or adapt to the situation in the way that you want to, you know, not just in the way that will help you survive, but in the way that you will want to, that oh, it's good for your emotions and your mental state, then someone else is going to make that choice for you. Uh, and it might keep you alive. It might, uh, you know, make you money. It might get you medical benefits or whatever. But then again, you know, it'll also put you in a state where you'll need those medical benefits because you're kind of going crazy. <laughs> so for me, it's like, you know, let yourself know what you want. If you have to distance yourself from other people, you know, spend some time meditating, just being with yourself. Because again, with the brain, the brain is going to come up with those answers for you. And the brain is going to tell you what you want. Because you know what you want. You're just yeah. kind of putting a block around it because you're scared of what you want. But once you understand what you want, then you're in a better position to make the choice to get what you want. Hmm. So beautifully stated. And I appreciate that you were willing to share what was real for you and what you had to process and what you had to work through. Because I think so many of us have been in that place um, for one reason or another. And I appreciate you sharing the way that you worked through it because had you not made that choice, you know, I don't know, we probably wouldn't be talking right now. And then your share, your story, our story together wouldn't reach more people to help them process their story. Right? Cause I know that at this time there's likely one person listening, you know, probably dozens, but you know, lots of people that are in that stage right now where people are telling them, who they should be, what they should do, what their life should look like. And it's only when we make that choice for ourselves, and it's not a selfish choice at all. When we make that choice for ourselves, we get to this point where we can make and we can trust ourselves to make better choices that are more reflective of what we want to be and who we want to be. And I think that you can see that through Michael, 